it is not just by university education, but it is by doing things yourselves that you gain experience, you learn from mistakes, and then you advance in the process. It's a long-term process. It is not that you have some kind of you know, switch button that you give them the dose of innovation at the university, and then you will come out with innovation. That's number one answer to your question, which is that it is imitation which leads to the assimilation of the existing technology, absorption of the technology in the day-to-day -day operational work, and then diffusion of that technology throughout the society. And you have an example which I gave you, Green Revolution. It started in the laboratory, it was experimented in the fields, it was adopted and absorbed by big landlords, then it got into the medium, and then finally it was adopted by everybody because the technology was diffused. This is the model which we have. On education, we have a serious problem. I started this career for my passion. I didn't need a job, but when people approached me to head the IBA, I thought we all talk about education, we don't do anything about it, so let me try my hands. We get the best and the brightest kids, but their training at school and colleges is, I'm sorry to say, highly flawed. They are not encouraged to ask questions. You kill their curiosity. You kill their inquisitiveness because at home parents say, Chup karo, ye kya sawal ho? You discourage them right from your childhood. Second, you don't reward them for good things they do at school for creative things. We try to say, padho, padho, padho. What do they do? They go to rote learning, memorization, reproduce that at the exam. The teachers also are interested only in finishing their own chapters so that they can complete the course. Same thing happens in the colleges and universities. If a very bright kid asks a teacher a question, he's discouraged, he's penalized. A culture which does not allow you to question and to critically examine the existing propositions is never going to have an innovative culture. Science is based on challenging the accepted conventional wisdom. If you accept the conventional wisdom, there will be no breakthrough in the science. So we have not to blame only the politicians and the governments, we have to blame ourselves. We don't do that enough, that right from the childhood, we should try to nurture the curiosity, the inquisitiveness. It requires sort of work. One of my daughters is nurturing the, child, the children here. And I see how did we nurture her. It's a contrast between what we used to do as parents and what she's doing as parents. And that's why this five-year-old granddaughter of mine is so well conversant that she keeps asking very tough questions and I have to prepare myself in order to answer her questions because I don't know some of them, those questions. So this is not education because we are very good at credentials. Mere paas ye bhi degree hai, mere paas ye bhi certificate hai, ye bhi mein diploma hai, aap mujhe promote kar do. Bhai tumhe aata kya hai? We don't go by contents, we go by credentials. So we have to get rid of credential mentality, we have to get into the content, and we have to encourage questioning, inquisitiveness, and curiosity. Thank you. So, so to, to, to follow up on that, I, I, uh, you know, what you said, it reminded me of uh, one of my favorite uh, Ashar. Uh, Salim Ahmed ka shir hai ke, yakin ki baat mein kuch bhi nahi tha, naye pehlu huye paida guma se. To humare yaa yakin pe bhot zor hai. गुमान पे जोर कम बल्कि गुमान को थोड़ा सा 
برا سمجھا سمجھا جاتا ہے تو ہاں کفر پہ یاد آیا کہ عزیز حامد مدنی کا مجھے شعر یاد آیا کہ وہ بات سچ تھی جو اہل یقین نہیں سمجھے دماغ کفر سے کیا کیا حقیقتیں نکلی تو یہ چیز جو ہے وہ یہ تو ہاؤ ٹو گیٹ دس ان ٹو آر ان ٹو آر مائنڈ سیٹ اور یہ جیسے ڈاکٹر صاحب نے بھی فرمایا اور اور لوگوں نے بھی کہا کہ اٹس ناٹ کہ اسلام سے کوئی فنڈامنٹل اس کا اس کا کوئی ایک اس کا تضاد ہے لیکن سم ہاؤ وہ ہم وی ہیو بی ایبل ٹو ورک دس آؤٹ تو خیر یہ تو ایک ایک چیز ہوئی لیکن آئی وانٹ ٹو فالو اپ آن این ادر ایسپیکٹ آف دس اینڈ دس از سم تھنگ دیٹ آئی کین سے اینڈ آئی تھنک آل آف اس بیکاز وی بین تھرو دا سسٹم سو آئی تھنک وی کین بی اے لٹل بٹ کرٹیکل آف دا سسٹم اینڈ آئی ہیو اے ڈاٹر ان کالج ہیئر مینی آف اس ہیو ہیو کڈ ان کالج ہیو گون تھرو اٹ اینڈ آئی ہیو کم ٹو ایڈمائر دا سسٹم ویئر یو ڈو ناٹ گو ٹو این انجینئرنگ انسٹیٹیوشن یو ڈو ناٹ گو ٹو اے میڈیکل انسٹیٹیوشن یو گو ٹو کالج وین یو گو ٹو کالج یو مائی وانٹ ٹو بیکم اے ڈاکٹر یو مائی وانٹ ٹو بیکم این انجینئر یو فرسٹ گیٹ ایجوکیشن ناٹ این انجینئرنگ ایجوکیشن ناٹ اے میڈیکل ایجوکیشن یو گیٹ ایجوکیشن پہلے انسان بنتے اس کے بعد انجینئر بنتے ہیں ڈاکٹر بنتے ہیں یو گیٹ این ایجوکیشن ان ہسٹری ان لٹریچر ان فزکس ان کیمسٹری ان ایوری تھنگ ان دا لبرل آرٹس ان دی ان دی ہیومینٹیز ان دا ان اکنامکس اینڈ دین یو بیکم این انجینئر اور اے ڈاکٹر اور وٹ ایور ایلس وی ڈونٹ ہیو دیٹ سسٹم آئی تھنک دیٹس ویری امپورٹنٹ فار 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 انوویشن آلسو امنگ ادر تھنگس ہاؤ ڈو وی ڈو دیٹ now i i understand we have economic constraints we you know our uh, our our children probably cannot afford to to go through engineering for you know uh, for through a longer medical education or possibly longer engineering education even though engineering education here is no longer than engineering education there somehow we managed to fit all the uh, all the other stuff into our engineering programs i am part of an engineering program uh, we have our students take um, i think eight or nine courses outside of engineering okay so uh, so why can't we do that uh, in the institutions there and uh, i you know we we do take courses in chemistry physics physics all of our, all, all of all of our all of us went through that but those we never saw those as fundamental those were just things that we had to somehow get through and those were not considered to be part of a of of, of our education really i don't know what the situation is now maybe uh, Dr. Afzal can, uh, can, can, can speak more to that or any of the others. Uh, but, uh, but how do we do that? How do we make this a more educational curriculum rather than just a technical curriculum? HEC, obviously, in the last few years, they have uh, modified the curriculum. Uh, uh, They have brought in uh, courses like uh, skills, communication skills, business skills, like what Dr. Kapoor has mentioned, entrepreneurship. Uh, the trouble with uh, my, this is my personal view, the trouble with the students, uh, especially in NID, they don't take, and when I was a student, even though we were taught e economics, We didn't take it very seriously. That's right. Same, and they still do, do, do not take that as a serious subject. They think uh, these uh, subjects are not relevant in their future career. So they always, uh, uh, they just think that they just pass in those sort of things without acquiring knowledge. That's what we're I don't really know how to transform that sort of thing. It still persist. Uh, uh, we, uh, we have tried hard and The other problem is that obviously, when I was a student, we I didn't know we were taught we were taught maths, calculus, differentiation. I didn't know how to where we were supposed to apply it. Till I went for my doctoral program, and then I realized that the, the application side, uh, the teachers that teaches these sort of subjects, they are basically pure mathematicians or 